The best ways to use sea salt spray. This is Tidal Wave. Literally, it's our number one selling product. It's a sea salt spray. Not only is the smell phenomenal, literally it smells like you're in paradise, like on the beach, very fresh. Also, it's got UV protectants in it, so some of the ingredients actually help protect your hair like sunscreen from the sun, which is really awesome. And what I love about Tidal Wave, why I'm so passionate about it since day one, and I've used many, many uh, sea salt sprays from other brands as a hairstylist over many, many years, and some of them have a tendency to be very, very gritty, almost too sea salt, right? The, the texture is just way too intense, where this product, Tidal Wave, doesn't even come close to that. It's literally the perfect amount of texture for what you need uh, to create that look. So when you think about this, if you've ever gone in the ocean, you come out and your hair just looks incredible, like you let it air dry, whether you've got wavy hair, straight hair, whatever it is, your hair always has that, that, like, that look and that feel that you just normally don't get. And that's what this is trying to duplicate, but in a maybe somewhat more subtle way without your hair just feeling like you dumped sea salt on it, right? So what are the best ways to use Tidal Wave or sea salt spray? So if you're going to the beach, right, let's start with that. What you can do is you can literally spray this on your hair. So I would say, you know, one, two, three, four, five, five to six spritzes is all you need. Let it sit, let it settle down, right? That's what I tend to do. If you want to run your fingers through your hair to work it all through, that's fine. But what I like to do is just spray it throughout the hair to make sure it coats it and let it settle on the hair. Your hair could be straight, it could be wavy, curly, whatever it is, wet, dry, spray this on, go have some fun. Now, if you go into the ocean and you get your hair soaking wet, chances are that will affect the way the product reacts because you're, now you're adding literally like the ocean on your hair, so it may react a bit different. If you are not planning on going into the water, you know, or very little, again, you can spray this on. The good thing about this is because of the protection from the sun, this is gonna add a little bit of that barrier. So it's beneficial regardless, okay? That's the first way I do this. Now, if you wanna re like duplicate or recreate this type of look at home, you're not going to the beach and you're just like, I want that beachy texture, that's where this comes in. If your hair is really, really wet, right? You just got out of the shower, you kind of towel blot it dry and you're like, all right, now I'm gonna start my styling process. That's where you would spray in this. I like to do a couple of spritzes like I mentioned. Also, if you're looking for a lot more volume in your hair, what I like to do is I will actually section the hair and here's the nozzle and I'll spray right at the root area and I'll lift. I'll lift and spray exactly where I want to get that texture and that volume. As you can see in through here, I'm literally just lifting with my hands and spraying at the root area, okay? So you spray in the root area, then what I'll do after I have it worked in, maybe run my fingers through it a little bit, then I'll go in and spray on the ends. You can then blow dry it if you want. That's how you're gonna get maximum volume. If you want your hair to have a bit more texture like this or some natural waves or something, let it air dry. Set it and forget it, don't touch it, or you can use a diffuser. If you're looking for a style that is a bit more like this, you're gonna actually blow dry the hair then that is where Tidal Wave comes in really handy because yes, this is a volumizing spray. So when you're blow drying, you lift at the root area, right? You lift at the root area and you're gonna get that lift that you're looking for. And again, it does not make your hair feel gritty or, over, or heavy from the amount of sea salt. This is the perfect amount, the perfect uh, formulation to get what you're looking for. So you can blow dry it, you can let it air dry. Next is if you've got really, really curly hair, right? So here we go, look at this mannequin. <laughs> this is as curly, I mean, this is very, very curly, okay? What, you, what I suggest doing on curls, if you want to just add a little bit of hold, reduce some of the flyaways, tame it down, but have that beachy texture, when the hair is wet, right, or damp, you can spray it in that way, or, you know, but now depending on your hair type, if you let it go fully air, like you let it air dry and your hair's like this, 
Okay, chances are your curls probably won't look like this from just letting it air dry with no product. If, if, it, if your hair looks like this, then great, good for you, lucky you. But what you can do is you can then spray this, I would say, when your hair is, I would 80% dry, right, 75% dry, and spray this in. And what's gonna happen is, when you let your hair air dry, because of the performance and what the product is doing to the hair, let it sit and let it coat the hair. Don't touch it because curly hair, you do not wanna mess with it unless it's fully wet, you're just getting in the shower. But that's when you wanna put this in. Let it sit there and let it air dry. It's gonna dry into a really, really nice shape. It's gonna help tame some of the frizz. You're gonna get a little volume and texture out of it. And that's what's so great about using it on curly or wavy hair. This goes for men, women, doesn't really matter. Um, the hair is hair, so whatever your hair texture is, whatever your gender you are, doesn't really matter. So if you've got straight hair, right, like this mannequin here, super straight hair, again, you want to have a little bit of volume, a little bit of texture, you can spray it in, let it air dry on straight hair, same type of technique. Just make sure that you're getting you know, pretty even coverage. So with straight hair, what I like to do is I will then work it through the hair, right? I'll work it through the hair to give it, give it even distribution and I'll comb it through, I'll work it through my hands. If you're putting it like a man bun or ponytail, it really helps to, to create some of that much needed uh, support for the style. And that's what's great about having a product that adds a little bit of that like sea salt texture because it gives you more control when you're styling your hair, if you want to put into any sort of man bun, you know, it helps tame some of the flyaways, stuff like that, without your hair feeling like oily or greasy or heavy. It's, it's really amazing for these types of looks. Really awesome though, this product right here, Tidal Wave, it also comes in a travel size. And a lot of people buy the travel size, a two ounce, it looks exactly like this, it's a two ounce bottle, because it's great for traveling, it's great for going to the beach. So take advantage of of those, um, if you use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20, you get 20% off and anything over $50, you get free shipping in the US. I keep telling you, stop using code YouTube20 because you're using it too much and this is selling too much, so please. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.